I'm excited. I, I, I'm, I think I'm more nervous than you are, probably. I, I don't know if you know this or not. But... Hey, everyone. I'm TCS23, and welcome back to Cross Out Basics. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than the ones I normally make. For those of you who don't know, there is a particular player who has captured the minds of the Cross Out community through his ingenious building designs and polished cinematics. His name is Sandbland, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing him. So from one cross-out content creator to the other, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Sandbland. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I'm super stoked to have you doing this interview with me. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, man. Okay, so as you may already know by now, many players, including myself, are truly fascinated by the creativity and imagination of your building skills. And I think we're all really excited to learn more about who Sandbland really is. So the first question I have for you is, how did you come to be known as Sandbland? All right. So back in high school, uh, me and a buddy would uh, brainstorm ideas for like a fictitious adult swim cartoon. And one of the locations is called the Doof. <laughs> and... It's a desert landscape that is like the most mundane, dull, senseless, bland place you can imagine. And there's like nuclear waste runoffs from factories like tainting the sand. But the whole concept was to try to make this bland place interesting. Um, so that's where sand bland originates. Nice. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what got you interested in playing cross out? It took me about 10 times of seeing that cross out ad on YouTube, you know, the one with the rock and roll music, um, until I realized that that game is literally my dream game that I came up with back in seventh grade. Like, I thought, man, it would be cool to make a game where you could like weld stuff together in a garage and like test it out back. Um, I've always been mechanically inclined and uh, took apart my toys as a child and like blew them up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that ad got me interested. And of course, seeing Gromic's videos, I was like, uh, yeah, installed. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So it's it's kind of like uh, Twisted Metal 2.0 in a way. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So how often do you play cross out then? Well, as much as I can, really, uh, every day. Um, I would say an average of two hours a day on weekdays and 12 hours on the weekends. But something that might surprise you to know about me is that uh, I actually work 10 hour days, six days a week in a factory. But... I don't mind it because, you know, it gives me lots of time to brainstorm crazy build ideas and, you know. Gotcha. Okay, so we're starting to see how it all comes together. That's the initial part of it anyways. So here's a side question. Uh, who do you identify more with, a free-to-play player or a pay-to-win player? I would say a free-to-play player. However, I did accrue a lot of... Uh, money or coins from winning cross out shows but i still feel like that's free to play because i i earned all my wins and had a great time doing it uh, i had uh between 15 and 20 times i made it on the show and it really helped me a lot with being able to afford parts absolutely i am still trying to this day to win one of those shows so i I think you're the one that keeps beating me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now here's a question that really everybody is truly uh, wanting to know, and we kind of got a part of it, but where do your build inspirations come from? So that's kind of a loaded question. There's a lot of responses I could give you. I'll give you one of them. So a lot of my early designs were inspired by animals. You have scorpions with their pinchers and stingers, Venus fly traps trapping their prey inside. My most popular video, the Tokyo Roller, 
um, drew direct inspiration from crocodiles and how they kill their prey with their death roll. So, yeah, I would say animals is one of my biggest inspirations. Wow. I would definitely agree with you that animals are a great source of inspiration. Okay, so you've definitely made quite an extensive list of creative builds up until this point. So, in your opinion, what's your favorite build? Well, my favorite build is always the next one I'm experimenting with. <laughs> but if I were to pick one, I would say my little green fang. Temperas on a blight. It's just so satisfying how you can burn a hole straight through the side of a goliath track and pop their jenny, insta-killing them. It's really underrated. You just you just have to hit and run. If you miss, pull back and recharge. It's very effective, actually. Nice. I, I could see how that would work. So I've never actually had a chance to play any of your builds, but I'm hoping to do so. I'm sure many other players feel the same. But my favorite was the Needler. So as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to be building that vehicle and testing it out. Awesome. Yeah, that that one is very satisfying, the noise it makes. <laughs> nice. So as a content creator myself, I'm really interested in this next question. How do you get your videos to look so cinematic? So one of my favorite techniques that I have actually shared with other YouTubers is to build a boom arm structure on the build with a TS1 Horizon visor on the end. And it gives you really nice close-up shots of your build while it's driving. And last thing is to press Z and Alt, and that will remove the HUD. Wow, that seriously is blowing my mind right now. I did not, <laughs> I did not even think it could be that simple and yet so brilliant. That's really cool. I'm definitely going to take notes on that. So uh, would you say that you enjoy editing your videos as much as testing your builds? My favorite part is always building. I really love the challenge of trying to make a ridiculous concept work um, and, you know, try to make it perform to the best of its ability. Uh, but close second is editing. I actually went to college for graphic design and got my associate's degree. And even though I didn't make a profession out of it, it's a really awesome hobby to edit videos. Really rewarding. I love it. Yep. I couldn't agree with you more. And it also doesn't surprise me that uh, you got a degree in a similar field. So uh, that mm -hmm. totally makes sense. Okay, so next question. How long do you plan on making crossout content for YouTube? I really don't plan on stopping. I, I have tons of ideas floating around. And even if I get into a position where maybe I'm not pushing out the really wacky builds, I'll throw in more normal builds. I, I have a lot of ideas for those too. So, yeah, as long as Crossout's still a thing, I'll, I'll be here. Nice. I think we all can appreciate that. Now, for those of you who have been a part of the Crossout community for a long time, you may well know another creative Crossout builder by the name of Gromic999. He was well known for the Slam Dunk series and some really unique fusion builds. With that being said, some people say that you, Sandbland, are the next Gromic. What are your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, Gromick is a legend and a role model to me. He pioneered some of the most incredible builds in Crossout. Heck, he practically invented fusions. I really, really wish he would come back. But I mean, my goal isn't to become Crossout famous or anything. I just, I just like making crazy stuff and sharing it. <laughs> Well, I would agree it would be great to see Gromic return to Crossout, but if not, we have a more than capable replacement in our midst. Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so last question. Uh, is there anything that you would like to say to your fans? I would like to say, don't forget what Crossout is all about. Don't forget why you started playing. And be kind to your teammate that has 38 fuel barrels strapped to the front of his build. <laughs> oh man well sam bland uh i i can't thank you enough for taking the time out of your day to uh share with us just who you are and and how you come up with such awesome builds and we look forward to the next one yeah thank you very much it was a pleasure
I'd also like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching this video. If you're interested in checking out more of Sandland's amazing builds, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. And be sure to comment on our channels with the hashtag TheDoof to show your support for both Sandland and myself. Other than that, I'll see you here next time on Crossout Basics.